Welcome to Lent 2019. We are so happy you are coming on this journey with us. Each day, Pastor Diane or Pastor Matt Day will be sharing a daily devotion with you. We hope you enjoy. Take care and God bless. Good morning, friends. It is Monday, April 1st. Sorry we're a little behind. We tried to do this last night and I just couldn't get it together. So, uh, today is April 1st. How fitting. Um, our reading for today, um, we're back to me doing Old Testament, which I love. So, our reading for today is from Leviticus. A reminder that Leviticus is a book of a Bible that if you're reading, trying to like read the Bible from cover to cover, probably get about here and you go done because it's um, a lot of the um, it's named for the Levites the priests of the people who are in charge of helping um, the people keep the um, ordinances that God has laid out because God is trying to make this holy people and these ordinances and, and rules are about helping them know boundaries because when we have utter freedom, we run amok and we hurt each other. So part of this, um, these, all these rules, is to help them know good boundaries. Boundaries with how to respect themselves, how to interact with each other, how to interact with other foreign peoples, and how to interact with the land. So, um, it's, it's, it's very weighty, um, but it's all for a good purpose. So. Uh, today we also get a taste of um, the reality of when we have all these rules and boundaries, we can't keep them all, and we usually break them. Um, so here's the response to what happens when we break them what we need. The Lord spoke to Moses saying, Now the tenth day of the seventh month is the day of atonement. It shall be a holy convocation for you. You shall deny yourselves and present the Lord's offering by fire, and you shall do no work during the entire day. For it's a day of atonement, to make atonement on your behalf before the Lord your God. For anyone who does not practice self-denial during that entire day shall be cut off from my people. And anyone who does any work during the entire day, such a one I will destroy from the midst of the people. You shall do no work. It's a statute forever throughout your generations in all your settlements. It shall be to you a Sabbath of complete rest, and you shall deny yourselves on the ninth day of the month at evening, from evening to evening, you shall keep your Sabbath. Sorry, that was Leviticus 23, 26 to 32. So... Um, a little bit more about this Day of Atonement. We heard in the reading that it's to be kept for generations in all your settlements. This is the day that our Jewish brothers and sisters still hold, as per the ordinance, um, which is Yom Kippur. Um, a little bit more about atonement and the understanding. Atonement, when it's originally given in Leviticus 16 this day, atonement was a daily ritual. Because some sins were unknown, unintended, or unacknowledged, the concern was that pollution would accumulate in the sacred sphere because of all the sins that had gone unnoticed. This happens even now. We confess these on Sunday. So the Day of Atonement was much like an annual cleansing of the sanctuary and community to rid them of such overlooked pollution. Atonement refers to the restoration of the broken relationship between God and sinful humanity. Christians have seen this ritual perfected in Christ's sacrifice on the cross. Uh, so as I read this, um, again, I interjected in that note. Thank you to Dr. Hutton for his wonderful um, resource here. Um, a reminder, um, thinking about, I said I interjected, um, atonement is something that we look at daily, the repentance, the turning around through our baptism, reminding us where we fall short and reminding that us, that God is continuing to sanctify us, to make us holy um, where we fall short. Um, I think the beautiful thing about this special day of atonement when, from the reading is this reality that what they're supposed to do that day is to just stop take a Sabbath because all the things they've been doing um, 
our work that help them ignore or help them keep going in the process um, of life that then they forget how they need to be or what has been done or what has been left undone. So um, I'm just struck by the gift of um, atonement, period. The being made right with God again, but also um, having this time to actually stop and be very intentional and thoughtful about um, ways that um, people have not been in right relationship with God and with each other and with the land. That's the part of Sabbath too. The land and all the ways we work around us need Sabbath according to God's word. Um, so as you are um, doing the thing we always do, which is next thing, next thing, next thing, what's next? Um, Perhaps this reading today um, will call you to a moment, an hour, a few minutes, where you just stop and think about where are you not in right relationship? Where um, with family, with God, with friends, with even your like home, where does things need to be realigned? And where does forgiveness need to be asked? Um, I, I think I need to do that today myself. So let us pray. We, loving God, we give you thanks for the gift of Jesus, who we understand makes atonement for all the ways we fall short in relationship with each other and you and the world you've given us. Help us to take some time to stop, just stop, and think about what we need to atone for um, and to be open to your Spirit's work in helping us uh, be sanctified and live as you would help, help and hope us to. All these things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.